Okay, so yesterday was the deadline for everybody to give their comments about the Volcker Rule, and we got lots of them. We got them from bankers, we got them from lobbyists, but most interesting of all, perhaps, was that which we received from the great tall man himself, Paul Volcker. You, so you wrote about it. Yep. He seemed to have come in and said, actually muddied the debate over his own rule. Yeah, I mean, if you actually, what he came out with would have been really helpful a couple of years ago. It's not a bad little perimeter why uh, uh, prop trading is a, is a bad thing. He said, well, it, it can get in the way, it can cause conflicts of interest at banks. It's a great ability, it's great for banks to be able to now say, we don't trade for our own account. All of that's great, but the debate's long since moved on from whether <laughs> prop trading is a good or a bad thing or worth having or not. Right. The banks have accepted that. Even Goldman rolled over and accepted it a couple of years ago. The issue now is whether the way that you uh, try and uh, decide whether something is market making for clients or prop trading that's the big issue and on that he had nothing to say right so we're still sort of stuck in this like this uh, know it when I see it problem yeah. Well, he wound up he wound up sort of uh, sort of going down this weird path on the on liquidity and, and yeah. whether or not it which doesn't it doesn't seem to be I mean it's it's an issue that's been raised by a few overseas governments but it is not the crux of the argument no. what did he say about specifically about liquidity what well liqui essentially he was saying that there's nothing wrong with having a bit less liquidity that, so, that if you have too much liquidity that can a that might not have any extra benefit and be extra liquidity. Of course, the arguments that the Japanese and the Canadians have made is that you've selectively well, they've carved out U.S. Yeah. Treasuries from it, but but yeah. not other. Right. Yeah, not, this, not that, other that's overseas. that's somewhat separate. I mean, right. and, and you know, I think we, we generally agree with them that carving it out is, is not a good idea. But he's also saying that more liquidity you have, the more chance you have have of bidding up assets, and, and by by uh, consequence, maybe having a an asset bubble, which may be theoretically true, I and mean, it's very hard to prove. And where's the tipping point? But right. what we do know is, if you have too little liquidity, uh, then you're going to have increased costs for everyone. Right, it's interesting. What and what? I mean, what is what have the bankers said about this? You said Jamie well, the, Dimon was well, out. Well, Jamie on. Dimon was sort of on our, a bit of a rampage yesterday and uh, against Volcker and uh, and the rule itself. And the banks have obviously largely been against this rule. Right. But, you know, I think there's a lot of issues that could get conflated here about market making, which I think which I think the regulators are really trying to to work toward. Yep. And I think is where there's going to be compromise and sort of. That's where all the owning. questions are. Yeah. Don't forget the initial draft that they were commenting on was 300 pages long with. Uh, hundreds of questions in there that the regulators are asking of people in the markets to, to, to try and answer right. for them. So it's it's no easy but thing. But there's a really easy thing to do this. This is like, if you really want to take this to its logical conclusion, you go to the 30 pages called the Glass-Steagall Act. <laughs> right? I mean, well, that's basically... You have that, well. but you also have this, I think the, the other thing that, uh, the simple way to look at it is you have the banks against it, you have a bunch of investors for it, CalPERS has come out in support of it, you've got some legislators in support. So uh, my feeling is kind of like if you have all these people some again, some yeah. for, some in the middle. They've probably got the thrust of the rule mostly right, right. and it's it's really just it's about just, compromising. It's, it's just you know, the, tweaking it and making sure it, it doesn't doesn't slay uh, market making a bit too much. Right. right. Okay. Well, we'll keep an eye on that and other stories from Breaking Views tomorrow.